eggs, and I'm just gonna hide the little baby for a second. It's this guy right over here, and you can see she actually hasn't shed. Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here, and I hope you're having a great day. Today's episode, I got an update on one clutch. Only one clutch again, kind of like the last update video, because there's something really cool inside of here. I actually have the smallest ball python I've ever hashed out before. It's probably the smallest ball python. It's probably one of the smallest ball pythons you've ever seen. Pretty excited to go and show you guys it. Before we get into that, huge shout out to Gobbles Reptiles. Go and check out Brittany. She's got some amazing snakes she's been hatching and she takes amazing pictures. She even takes some pictures for JKR at Canova, so definitely go and check her out. And she is slacking on the back. Whoops, almost fell down here. We got some wires. That would have been bad. So go and check out Gobbles and Reptiles. Let's get straight into the clutch. And the pairing for this clutch was a Spot Nose Orange Dream Fire Yellow Belly Clown. And that was paired to a Lesser Het Clown. So. Just a lesser head clown to a really cool male. We had six eggs, and I'm just gonna hide the little baby for a second. One of the eggs did go bad in incubation, so we were left with five babies. And let's just start off with start off with this one right over here. This is a spot nose, fire, yellow belly, 100% head for clown. And spot nose did really good in this combo, bringing it in all those really dark tones and giving some really nice contrast. The fire in the yellow belly did a good job too. The yellow belly gave you all the flaming on the sides and the fire just gave you that really nice creamy color in the dorsal. And this one right over here is a female and she'll probably be for sale. And then we'll go with this one right over here. This is a lesser orange dream yellow belly 100, uh, lesser orange dream spot nose yellow belly, 100% head for clown. And this too is a uh, female, really cool. And then if you go and add fire into that, you'll get this one, which is a lesser orange dream fire yellow belly spot nose, 100% head for clown. You can see the fire just brought in a little bit more creamier tones and lightened the back up that much more. And let's just check this one. Hopefully it is a female too, because it wouldn't mind holding her back. And it is, so I'm definitely going to be holding this one back. It's a 5 gene Het Clown with Spot Nose, Yellow Belly, and Orange Dream inside. So really cool for the future. And then over here, this is a really cool clown. I believe it is a male though. I wished it was a female. I just love all the tones inside of it. Yep, definitely a male. And this is what I believe to be a Fire, Yellow Belly, Orange Dream Clown. I'm not 100% sure yet, gotta wait for a couple more sheds, but you can see there's some really nice orange tones, and I'm seeing some orange dream-like pattern along the sides here, as well as the yellow belly bringing all those oranges in. And then just the overall color of the snake is really, is really making me think of the fire gene. So for now, I'm saying fire, orange dream, yellow belly clown, but it might be missing one of those genes, but definitely, at the least, yellow belly. I'm pretty safe to say orange stream too, so I guess I'm pretty much only on the fence with the fire. But this guy will be for sale when it has a couple more sheds and I'm able to tell exactly what it is. And then for the smallest ball python that I have ever made, it's this guy right over here. And you can see she actually hasn't shed yet, and yes, this one is a girl. I sexed it as soon as it came out of the egg. But since it's still shedding, I'm gonna let it be and not sex it again. Just gonna have to take my word for it. And this right here looks like an orange dream fire spot nose 100% head for clown. At first, I actually thought it was a clown. Let's see if I can rub some of this vermiculite off. The head looks very much like a clown, but the pattern on the dorsal is saying that it's not. Who knows? Maybe it is. When it gets a little bigger, I'll start showing the clown pattern a little bit more. But for now, I'm gonna say it's just a spot nose, orange dream, fire, 100% head clown female. And if you guys are wondering how much she weighs, she hatched at 12 grams. She didn't absorb too much of her yolk and I actually just weighed her before the video and she's currently 11 grams. I'm gonna have to get some yolk into her. I'm not too sure exactly how I'm gonna feed her as she's too small. Might have to go to rat tails or maybe even just a pinky rat foot. Hopefully she does make it. She is a little bit lethargic, but as you guys can see, she's been moving very well. Her tongue flicks a little bit, 
not too often, but that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Which snake from this clutch was your favorite? And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and peace out.